Welcome. I am the Empress. Happy to be here with you guys today. All right, so we're going to talk about um, Moon in Pisces, okay? So if you have a Moon in Pisces, you can apply this reading to your life. Take what applies and what does not apply. Let it fly. We're getting into the Moon sign of Pisces. If you're new to the channel, guys, go ahead and click the bell to subscribe. You don't want to miss out on any future videos. Um, as well, guys... If you would like uh, to book your very own personal reading with the Empress, that information is going to be in the drop box below. All right. So let's see what we got. Moon in Pisces. Moon in Pisces. What message is there for Moon? Pisces Moon. Pisces Moon. Okay. Well, we got one that jumped out directly, guys. Well, it's two of these. Okay. So. We have a new romantic cycle begins. So some of you guys, <laughs> some of you guys are getting ready to start a new romantic cycle. Oh, okay. Your dreams need a practical plan. Okay, so even though you're getting ready to go into a new phase um, in the love department, you still have to be practical, okay? Um, I think spirit wants you to know that um, that we aren't going to go into a new love relationship blindsided. Um, have a well thought out plan. Be practical, okay? Pisces does kind of have a... a um, a way of kind of being like dreamy um, and in a fantasy world. So definitely make sure that you're grounded and you set boundaries um, and have this thing planned out. Go into it like you would go into a, a job or a business venture. Okay, like have it set out, planned, okay? Give me another card for, for Moon and Pisces. Pisces Moon. Pisces moon. Oh no, that's just too much. <laughs> Pisces moon. Yeah, you guys got new love. I'm going to pull a clarifier to get some more energy to go a little deeper. But let's see. Give me another card. Pisces moon, Pisces moon for the month of August, Pisces moon, what's going on with Pisces moon? Okay, well, we don't want to get a car. Okay, I got, you're very close to achieving your goal. Okay, Pisces moon, some of you already have a plan. Some of you already have something. Look, and then we have don't let your past hold you back. And don't let pride get in your way. This was this Leo moon. Don't let pride get in your way. Full moon in Leo. Don't let pride get in your way. And don't let the things from the past ruin the future. Believe in the impossible. Balance spiritually and practicality. Okay? And this is full moon in Pisces' energy, but look. Balance spirituality and practicality. This is the same energy as here. Like having the perfect balance um, going into this new venture. Your dreams needs to be practical. You need to have a practical plan. You need to come up with some practical ways of how. I'm just getting like be strategic. Okay, I'm going to keep these three down here. I'm getting like be strategic. Don't go into this new love venture blindly okay i get new love coming in let's 
What message is there for Pisces Moon? High Priestess of Earth. For some of you, uh, it could be an Earth sign, but this is as well as being practical and grounded, okay? So this is the energy that you may have to take, okay? And then we got beauty here. <laughs> we got beauty. Wow. Give me another card for Pisces Moon. Movement. This is the chariot card. Some of you could be dealing with a cancer. But see, there's something like, we got denial here. We got denial here at the bottom of the deck. So it's time to move out of this denial phase of something that you've been holding on to from your past. It's time for you to move forward, okay, and into something new, okay? Some of you guys are moving into something new, most definitely. Give me another card for Pisces Moon. All right, this is a lot of messages. I got success, self-worth, honesty, and belonging. Someone, okay, we got trapped here. So someone could be stuck in a situation already with the belonging. This is the four of wands, which is like home life. Some of you may feel like you're stuck in the house a lot. Um, some of you may be married. Um, and you feel possibly tied or bound or trapped in a situation. Um, but I got something here as well about your self-worth. Okay, this is taking care of yourself. This is loving on yourself. Okay, this is all about you. Okay, loving yourself, self-love first. Okay, and then we got success. I love that. I love that. I love that. Someone I'm getting as well, too, that someone may be afraid to tell the truth here. Someone's afraid to tell the truth. Give me one, one card for Pisces Moon. We got choices. Okay, so you do have a decision that you need to make. Okay, you do have a decision that you need to make. Something here about understanding yourself. I got understanding and self-worth here. This is about understanding yourself. You know yourself good enough to make the right choice. I need my glasses. <laughs> You're very close to achieving your goal. You got a choice that you have to make. And it's going to have to be the best choice for you. Best thing, best thing, best thing I did for me. Best thing, best thing, best thing I did for me. Make the best choice for you. Why is choices here? Let's, let's go ahead and get some clarifiers. This is interesting. Pisces moon. Give me Pisces moon energy. I need some clarifiers here. High Priestess of Earth. Virgo Taurus Capricorn energy, but very much so practical. Um, very, very practical. Very analytic. Grounded. Spoiled. <laughs> Why is the high priestess of earth here? Knight of Wands. Seven of Swords. Some of you were dealing with a player. You found out the truth about this person. Maybe you found out that this person was married here. I'm going to try to fix my cards because I don't know why my cards are like. I feel like some of you found out the truth about someone. That you found out that this person could be, could be married or um, is 
pretending to be single here, but they live at home with someone. You may have found a truth out about this person. Oh, my cards are like, really? Why is Knight of Wands here? The King of Swords. The Tower, yeah. Scorpio's energy as well. But something fell apart with the Tower and the Ten of Wands. Like, the situation was so heavy and so burdensome. Um, it just, things just fell apart. Okay, things just fell apart. Why is the Tower here? Hangman, hey yeah, because somebody left things just in the air and it kind of just possibly fell apart. See, look, we got the devil here. Some of you are definitely dealing with a Capricorn, but the situation was just toxic. Um, and there possibly wasn't any progress, progressive movement. I feel like there wasn't any progressive movement because we had the hangman, and that's just things just being in the air, okay? That's just things kind of just be just there. There's really no, um, Things are just in the air. Maybe you were waiting for somebody to make up their mom. But let me see. Why do we have um, movement here? King of Pentacles. King of Pentacles. Eight of Pentacles. Okay, so somebody here is trying their best to move forward. Yeah, to something better. Ten of Cups, okay? Your intuition is telling you to focus on you, okay? I feel like a lot of you guys are trying to get the bag at the same time, too. I got the lovers here. Could be dealing with a Gemini. But I feel like you're, you're loving yourself. Like, you're um, paying more attention to yourself. Why is the Ten of Cups here? Yeah, like you're looking for you're looking for a made type of individual. You're looking for somebody that you don't have to build. You're looking for somebody that is financially uh secure. You're looking for emotional uh fulfillment as well. Okay? I feel like that's what you're looking for. In your romance life, a new romantic cycle begins. So like that's what a lot of you may be looking for, like somebody who is Already together. Already has something going on. Already has some goals. Why is choices here? Now, this is what I'm most curious about. Page of Cups, okay? Page of Cups. Like, there's something that... There's a big juggling act here with the Two of Pentacles and the Ten of Wands. It's a really big juggling act. And it's starting to become uh, strenuous and burdensome. Okay, so now you could be feeling like you need to make a decision. Why is the Page of Cups here? The Death card. Scorpio's energy, but there's an ending. Okay, there's a transformation. Okay, yeah, see, look at this. Nine of Cups. And the Ten of Pentacles, okay? So you want what's best, okay? And this is new love, okay? Look at this. Ace of Cups is new, a new start in love. The Sun card is you being happy and having a positive mindset. Like, I feel like you, you, and then you don't want to see, look, we got the Ten of Swords here as well. So there's an ending. So possibly there's a secret relationship here or something that you, uh, you know, some of you are like done uh, being in like little rendezvous or little secret relationships here. But the moon is also Pisces' energy as well, okay? And then we got the Two of Cups here. But I'm feeling like the Five of Swords and the Seven of Cups, this is a hard decision that you have to make. I feel like you could be juggling two people. I um, mean, you feel like you have to choose. Um, but some of you are possibly even deciding the best thing for you to do is to go with a new opportunity, okay? Because I feel like this is what you want. Like, your wish fulfillment is a Ten of Pentacles. 
like the Ten of Pentacles is long, long, longevity. This is a legacy. This is a family unit. Um, and this is, you know, your finances and being secure. This is what you want. This is a wish fulfillment. And if you have to go to, uh, you know, to a new chapter in your life, I feel like you're willing to take that. You're willing to, um, to take that leap of faith. Yeah, we got the Eight of Cups that want to jump out. Some, someone could possibly be leaving a marriage and starting something new. Why is the Ten of Pentacles here? Five of Wands. Yeah, see, like you're you're moving on from something that was chaotic or something that was, you know, uh, Five of Wands energy, like very hostile. I feel like you're leaving a hostile environment. You're letting go of something that no longer serves you. And you're entering a new phase. I had the world at the bottom of the deck. You're entering a new phase. You're entering a new phase. <laughs> you're closing this chapter on this old thing. You found out the truth. You see things clearly. Um, and I feel like so, a lot of you guys are going into something new. You got new love on the horizon. I feel like that's the decision that you're going to choose to make. Um, that this new thing that's coming about is going to be more beneficial to you. All right, so y'all let me know what's going on in the comment section below. I'll chat with y'all next time.